Monster Hunter World's weapon progression paths are much simpler than previous games, but there are some standout paths you may or may not notice. This guide series is going to focus on weapon upgrades to take you through low rank and high rank as painlessly as possible for each weapon type. Obviously, since we're talking about flying through the early game, we don't want to sit and farm monsters for days. You will need to farm a bit following these paths, but hopefully not too much. The majority of the parts also come from easier monsters, which should make progress fairly painless. You need to hoard everything you come across. If you see a mining node, hit it. Bone pile, take everything. The last thing you want to do is have to go randomly find some bones or minerals for an upgrade. Everything you gather will be useful, and you'll save time by gathering as much as you can along the way. Any questionable materials, I will be providing where to get them as we talk about the upgrades themselves. Hunting Horn is a blunt weapon like a hammer, but it allows you to play melodies to buff yourself and teammates. As such, Hunting Horn is best utilized in a group setting, but it can be used effectively solo. Each Hunting Horn is a different set of notes for different buffs, so part of the progression path is deciding which buffs that you like. Certain buffs benefit certain weapon types more. The main path for this guy is extremely easy and clean, and has a reasonable set of notes for general purpose hunting. Additional Hunting Horns will be provided to give you options if you prefer their note set. As a quick note, after playing a set of songs, you can immediately play the same set again by hitting R2 again after your songs complete. This lets you easily get into the second tier of songs or extend them. You should utilize this as much as possible. The short answer for this guide is... Build the bone path for the entirety of the game if you can put up with its less than stellar sharpness before picking up Dodo Gama's Hunting Horn. But you can also pick up the Toby Kadachi and Rathian Hunting Horns if you prefer the different buffs that they have at the cost of reduced damage. Now for the long answer. The metal bagpipes one you start with is good for the first few missions. You'll want to build the bone path as soon as possible, as its damage is by far and wide the highest of all the hunting horns for the entirety of low rank. Take a one-way trip to the bone zone by making a bone horn 1 and upgrade it to a bone horn 2 by using 3 monster bone S. The bone horn's melody effects are attack up small, which can be played a second time for attack up large, muck resistance, which will only be useful against Baroth and Juratotus, environmental damage negated, which won't be particularly useful, and earplugs S, which will be moderately useful. Attack up large and the high base damage from this horn are the primary reasons for it being considered the main path. Use the bone horn 2 to take out the Great Jagras and the Kuluyaku. After the Kuluyaku, you have an optional new horn to make. Upgrade your Metal Bagpipes 1 into Metal Bagpipes 2 by using 2 Iron Ore. Then upgrade it again into a Kulu Duda 1 by using 1 Kuluyaku Beak, 2 Kuluyaku Hide, and 3 Kuluyaku Scale. You'll lose out 40 raw damage, but gain green sharpness and 15% affinity, making the damage output of these extremely similar while unbuffed. Green sharpness is a nice damage buff, but with two castings of every hunting horn's self-improvement, you'll get ESP slash Mind's Eye. This means your attacks will no longer bounce off of enemies regardless of your sharpness level. This is part of the reason why the Bone Path is so good. The Kulu Duda's melody effects are Stamina Use Reduce Small, Wind Pressure Negated, Defense Up Small, and Tool Drain Use Reduce Small. The Kulu Duda 1 and Bone Horn 2 will be adequate for moving on to the next monsters. Make your choice and hunt a Puki Puki. After Puki Puki, you'll gain Monster Bone M as rewards. Use them to upgrade your Bone Horn 2 into a Bone Horn 3 by using 2 Monster Bone M and 1 Ancient Bone. With this upgrade, you'll finally gain Green Sharpness. Continue with your mandatory story hunts of Baroth, Juratotus, and then Toby Kadachi. Toby Kadachi's materials may come in handy later. Now you'll have to fight Anjaneth as part of the story, but you can also optionally hunt a Rathian to upgrade your Kulu Duda 1. Hunting either of these will also give you Monster Bone L to upgrade your Bone Horn 3. If you hunted a Rathian, upgrade your Kulu Duda 1 into a Valkyrie Cord Maker by using 3 Rathian Spike, 5 Rathian Scale, and 4 Rathian Shell. By doing this, your notes will change, but you'll maintain stamina use reduced and defense up small. You'll gain ice resistance boost and sonic waves. Sonic waves acts as a close range sonic bomb which can be used against some monsters, most notably a tunneling Diablos, to stun them. This is the only upgrade tier to the Rathian path in low rank. Right now, it's not a great weapon, but it could make a resurgence in high rank. After Rathian, or if you hunted Anjanath, use your Monster Bone L to upgrade your Bone Horn 3 into a Hard Bone Horn 1 by using 1 Monster Bone L, 5 Monster Bone M, and 2 Boulder Bone. Boulder Bones can be harvested from bone piles in the Wildspire Wastes. After defeating Zora Magdaros, don't worry, it's a set piece and you can't really lose, you'll gain access to the Coral Highlands. In the Coral Highlands, you're forced into an expedition to explore. You can mine here for Dragonite Ore. Mine 5 as soon as possible if you'd like to build the really boring Toby Kadachi path. Build a new set of Metal Bagpipes and upgrade them to Metal Bagpipes 3 by using 8 Iron Ore, 2 Macolite Ore, and 2 Earth Crystals all in. Then upgrade them to a Thunder Gata by using 5 Dragonite Ore, 1 Toby Kadachi Electrode, 2 Toby Kadachi Claw, and 1 Electro Sack. 
You'll lose out on raw damage, but gain thunder elemental damage. You'll also change notes again. Toby's path is very healing focused. You'll gain earplugs small and health recovery. Overall, healing isn't a great feature of hunting horns because you can just quickly sheath your weapon and throw a life powder for the same effect. But depending on who you're playing with, this may be a valuable option for you. Continue progressing by hunting Paolumu, unlocking the Rotten Vale, hunting Rataban, then returning to the Coral Highlands to take out Legiana. After Legiana, you'll hopefully get two Monster Bone Plus. Use them to upgrade your Hard Bone Horn 1 into a Hard Bone Horn 2 by using two Monster Bone Plus, one Monster Bone L, and four Sturdy Bones. Sturdy Bones can be gathered from the Coral Highlands or Rotten Vale. If you prefer, you can also upgrade the Thunder Gata 1 into a Thunder Gata 2 by using two Monster Bone Plus, two Topi Kadachi Electrode, two Topi Kadachi Membrane, and three Coral Crystal. Coral Crystal can be mined from mining nodes in the Coral Highlands. These are your last upgrades for low rank. Finish up your mandatory hunts of Odegaron, followed by Rathalos and Diablos in whatever order you choose. The Thunder Elemental damage on Thunder Gaida 2 will not even come close to the raw power of the Hard Bone Horn 2. After beating the Zora Magdro set piece and killing a deceptively strong Pookie Pookie, you'll gain access to high rank quests. Congratulations, the baby gloves are coming off. Our immediate goal in high rank is a weapon upgrade to compensate for the increased health of monsters with a long term goal of bringing our sharpness to the next level. You have a few options once you hit high rank. If you're lucky after the Pookie Pookie, you'll have received two Monster Keenbone. Upgrade your Hard Bone Horn 2 into a Hard Bone Horn 3 by using two Monster Keenbone, two Monster Bone Plus, and two Quality Bone. You can find Quality Bones as rewards from early high rank quests or from bone piles in the Ancient Forest. The massive power spikes from the Bone Path are less prevalent now, but it still has consistently good notes and is still a viable path for the majority of high rank. You can also upgrade your Toby Kadachi Horn if you prefer that. Hunt Toby Kadachi and upgrade your Thunder Gaida 2 into a Lightning Drum 1 by using 5 Carbolite Ore, 4 Toby Kadachi Scale Plus, 3 Toby Kadachi Pelt Plus, and 3 Vespoid Inner Wing. You can find Vespoid Inner Wing from Vespoids. Use Red Pits on your Slinger to avoid destroying their bodies, which allows you to carve. Finally, you can also hunt a Rathian. Upgrade your Valkyrie Cord Maker into a Queen Cord Maker by using 3 Rathian Spike Plus, 5 Rathian Scale Plus. 4 Rathian Carapace and 1 Rathian Plate. The plate makes this difficult, but you'll gain blue sharpness and an improved set of notes. You'll gain stamina use reduced large, all wind pressure negated, defense up large, ice res boost large, and sonic waves. All wind pressure negated isn't great immediately, but it will be extremely helpful during one of the later fights at the end of high rank. The rest are just improved versions of the Valkyrie Cordmaker's notes. Make your choice, they all have their own pluses and minuses. I'm sticking with the bone path. You'll now have to fight Pink Rathian as part of standard story progression. After your hunt, you can upgrade your Queen Cord Maker into a Coral Cord Maker by using 4 Rathian Spike Plus, 5 Pink Rathian Scale Plus, 4 Pink Rathian Carapace, and 1 Wyvern Gem. Wyvern Gems can be obtained from monsters like Baroth, Juratotus, and Rataban. You'll now have access to the Elder's Recess. You can fight 3 new monsters here, as well as gain access to new minerals. Mine to get Fusium Ore. Upgrade your Lightning Drum 1 into a Lightning Drum 2 by using 5 Fusium Ore, 2 Toby Kadachi Electrode Plus, 4 Toby Kadachi Membrane, and 3 Thunder Sack. Finally, you can now hunt Dodo Gamma to upgrade your Hard Bone Horn 3. Upgrade your Hard Bone Horn 3 into a Gamma Horn 1 by using 4 Dodo Gamma Talon, 5 Dodo Gamma Scale Plus, and 4 Dodo Gamma Hide Plus. By taking this upgrade, you'll gain Blue Sharpness, a Damage Spike, Blast Element, and a new set of notes. You'll gain Attack Up Large, Health Boost Large, Wind Pressure Negated, and Defense Up Large. This is an extremely valuable general purpose melody set, and it's on top of having extremely high raw damage with Blast Element. Your next mandatory hunt is going to be Nergigante. Any of these weapons will be viable choices, the Gamma Horn 1 will be the preference. After your hunt, if you got 3 Elder Dragon Blood, you can upgrade your Coral Cord Maker to a Royal Cord Maker by using 3 Elder Dragon Blood, 5 Rathian Spike Plus, 6 Pink Rathian Scale Plus, and 1 Rathian Ruby. Of course, like always, you should look into building Nergigante's Hunting Horn by going through the Ore Path. Build a new set of Metal Bagpipes 1, and upgrade it to Metal Bagpipes 2, into Metal Bagpipes 3, into Great Bagpipe 1, followed by Great Bagpipe 2, into Fortissimo 1, for finally upgrading it into the Nurgle Groove by using 3 Nergigante Talon, 4 Nergigante Regrowth Plate, 2 Nergigante Tail, and 2 Nergigante Carapace. Congratulations, you now have a weapon that's completely capable of getting you through the rest of the game, and one of the best hunting horns. The Nurgle Groove's high blue sharpness and high raw damage with Elder Seal will be extremely beneficial. You'll lose out on attack up large, but gain access to affinity up and health recovery small. You'll also gain earplugs large, which will make your group view you as a tiny god. 
This will be sufficient for taking out the remaining Elder Dragons, but you will probably want to build the Royal Chord Maker specifically for Kushala Daura because of all wind pressure negated. The melody all wind pressure negated will make the fight so much easier, it's actually difficult to put into words. For final targets, after beating Teostra and getting Fire Dragon Scale Plus, you can finish upgrading your Gamma Horn 1 into a Gamma Horn 2 by using 4 Fire Dragon Scale Plus, 4 Dodo Gamma Jaw, 3 Dodo Gamma Tail, and 1 Wyvern Gem. Wyvern Gems can be obtained from monsters like Baroth, Juratotus, and Rataban. You should definitely pick this up if you prefer the melody set to the Nurgle Grooves. After taking out Xenojiva, you can upgrade the Nurgle Groove one more time into Desolation's Overture by using 2 Xenojiva Horns, 5 Nurgigante Horn Plus, 5 Nurgigante Talon, and 1 Nurgigante Gem. The gem will make this difficult. If you go for one Hunting Horn, go for Desolation's Overture because of its high raw, good blue sharpness, and reasonable dragon element with Elder Seal. Its melodies will be useful while solo and in a party. Earplugs is something everyone loves, and it will serve as a great general purpose weapon. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Guides for the rest of the weapons are on the way.